Well, you lot can go in if you want. Doors open. Right. Let me do this. See, that's better. Right. Question away. What's Bertie the bed bug? <laughs> Bertie the bed bug. Do you know that's her bed bug's name? One of them's called Bertie. We've got like a whole family of them. Because they thought I was seeing stuff. Because I was sitting in a public hallway because I couldn't sit in my flat no more. So they said that I was mad, like sort of uh, mental, mentally, not mentally able to cope on my own. And that they had to section me on the section three. And they concluded was that I'm paranoid about bed bugs. Fifty years ago, you'd rarely see someone with mental illness out and about. They were locked up in Victorian asylums. I'm going on the X Factor. And Britain's got talent. For going on there with no talent and I will win it gracefully. Today, here in South London, Hiya. almost ten times as many people are treated in the community as in hospital. They're our neighbours and live all around us. Tamara, a mum of two, is one of 6,000 patients treated in the borough of Lewisham. She has um, persistent delusional disorder and the persistence is about bed bugs. And she brought a small tube with some dead bed bugs in it. So there is no doubt that there are bed bugs in her flat. But what the patient imagines is that the bed bugs are behind her eyes and in places that it's physically impossible for them to be. More than a thousand community patients in Lewisham live with psychosis. It means they can lose contact with reality, hear voices, suffer hallucinations or delusions. They leave um, residue, like slimy stuff. No, that's not varnish. See, I mistake stuff, but see this all here, that's where they've been, here and there. There's a uh, bed bug stain. I had to pull the carpets up because they were in my carpets. And this room used to be my room. Not anymore though. We moved upstairs and then I started going out in the public hallway around Christmas time. So what would you do? You'd sleep out there? I would just sit out there, listen to my music, up all night. Would the neighbours complain or...? Yeah, they all complained. So they saw, caught me on CCTV camera, undressing myself on public hallway. But I said I had no choice, because I had to, I couldn't get dressed in my own flat anymore. That's why I did it. Is there CCTV cameras out there? Yes, there is. So they looked on there and they saw me sitting out there daily, night times. I was just sitting, listening to my music, enjoying myself, you know, en enjoying the calm atmosphere around me. Tamara ended up being sectioned, her first admission to a psychiatric hospital. But as we'd discover, every day she walked a tightrope, unsure whether she'd end up having to go back. Hiya, tomorrow. I've come to get you for the meeting with Dr. Werner. Oh, OK. You all right? Do you want a couple of minutes? No, I'm coming. You all right like you are? I think... Oh, you want to get dressed first. He doesn't give me the right medication anyway. Well, that's why you're What's coming to... Where's going? Well, you need to tell him what you do need, don't you? Sleeping pills! I won't keep you too long and we'll get you straight back here. I want to take one a night. Otherwise, if it's too low, I'm going to take too many. And then I've got to wait another three weeks before I get another load. 
Okay, well, it's, you, you're going to have to have that discussion with him. Keep having discussions with him. He doesn't seem to listen. Well, we've got to get it right, haven't we? He seems to not get it right, though, this doctor. You've got to give him a chance tomorrow. All right, there we go. Keeping Tamara well is complicated by her long-term addiction to speed. It's likely to have been the trigger for her delusions. Sort of talked about the the speed, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. What? How much do you spend these days? Thirty a week. Oh. It's a, it's a bit more, isn't it? And then I thought it used to be a little bit less. Is that right? Yeah, but what was the point? Giving up it takes my pain away. But let's talk about medication now, because I'm not talking about speed no more. That's just my Okay, yeah, what let's, let's keep with. that out, yeah. I don't get out of my bed if I don't have my speed. I don't do shopping, I don't do nothing with myself as so long as I've got my speed. I, I rely on my speed on a lot of stuff. I've lost my kids into foster care. Yeah, they're in foster care now. I just can't cope anymore. So with the speed, it numbs my pain inside. And when I'm normal, I get upset about the kids, definitely. Because I do miss them. She knows she's got a drug problem, but she also believes with her heart that it helps her. And the drugs she chooses would not be ones that we think do help her. But she disagrees with that fervently. We have, I think, we still have a duty to work with that. Do you want to get it for me, Jim? Yeah, shall I, if I leave it here. He's a nice bloke, Jim, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Do you look after you? Yeah. I think he's quite fond of you. Oh, do you? <laughs> no, not in that way. <laughs> Just fond of you and like he likes you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. I'm noticing that. You know when you're out and about, you wonder what other people think of you. No, because I don't care. Some chat me up, some rob me. Some might ignore me and not notice me. It depends on how I look. A lot of people are scared of mentally ill in the community, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not. Because I know they're not... I've been in the hospital with them. They're not, they're not, they're harmless, really. When you're out, so you're looking. It's an Tamara had lived in the shadow of mental illness most of her life. Her mum had been with psychiatric services for years. Now she'd had to say goodbye to her own kids. They'd been in care for five months and she knew there was little chance of them coming home. But despite everything, she refused to let her illness beat her down. Whenever we arranged to meet, he could never be quite sure which Tamara was going to turn up. Hiya. You alright tomorrow? Yes. How are you doing today? Better. Yeah? Yeah, I have to get some makeup down the road. Yeah? Yeah, that's it really. Oh, I've got you something. Well, we've got you something for your birthday. Only small. Because we forgot, we didn't know it was your birthday. 
Oh, thank you. I can eat them. Thank you. This is my first uh, birthday present I've got. Is it? Yeah. Did you end up doing anything? No, I went straight to bed. But those tablets uh, Dr. Vernon sorted out for me do work now. On days like these, when Tamara was well, it was difficult to imagine her stuck on a psychiatric ward. Jim's just been called by Tamara. Her long-term partner has walked out on her. The same thing happened six months ago, triggering her last admission into psychiatric hospital. You sounded really upset this morning. I am. I'm completely upset. Yeah, I know. You know, he keeps moving in and out. He keeps leaving me problems. So why did Matt move the bed in here? Because he had enough of me. He just wanted to be on his own. He just wanted to be away from me, he said, because yeah. I called him a All right. And this place is just getting worse now. No, I'm quite worried about you at the moment. No, I ain't going to no hospital. I'm fine. In you, that don't, you don't want to go there. Oh no. Oh no. I want to move out of here. I know. That's what I want. I want to live a normal life. And I'm living a normal life is in a normal property. Mm. With no bugs that attack you. And have sore lips with it because of it. Sore lips because of the attacking the bed you? bugs, yeah. They're all uh, like around my face and that. Yeah. And then when I blow them out my nose and that, they land on my lips and then they're on my lips and attacking my lips. They're multiplying. Mm. Every day they lay eggs, 300 twice a day. Yeah. And they don't miscarry, neither. Mm. They're very fertile. You know, you don't get bed bugs that miscarries. Mm. <laughs> I'm quite concerned about you at the moment. Oh, no, I'm fine. Yes. Well, I need to let Dr. Bridges. Vernon know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He will want to see you. Yes. And then we'll and all meet up. Bed bugs are not phys mental, they are physical. They are here, in oh. reality. It's not mentally, I'm not seeing things. They are here. I'm sure Dr. Vernon will want to have that discussion with you. So, no mental uh, health, uh, health hospital will help me. Would you want to go to the hospital? No! I can't handle that again. The food was nice. Don't get me wrong. But that wasn't the noise and Edna singing Jesus songs all night. No, I want to sleep mm. and, be, and have peace. No. Ah. Excuse the mess. Ah. All right, see you later on the day. Ta-da tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Jim. She's not well, is she? I've not seen her as bad as this. Really? Yeah. I mean, she was on a par last time she came in hospital, but there's... She's more disturbed by it. Do you think you're thinking she might have to go back to the hospital? Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's how... how soon, really. She's not going to agree to it, of course. She said that quite clearly just then. I was just testing the water to see if she might go in informally. But she doesn't think she's got a mental illness. Psychiatrist Dr. Werner has come to see if Tamara's paranoia might require another admission to a psychiatric ward. Hi, Tamara. Is it okay for us? To, well, you didn't come in on Monday when we were due to see you. Okay, if we come in now. Yeah. We've got the film crew with us. Is that all right? Hey, uh, hi. Hi. You sure that's all right? Yeah. Mind the bed. You still sleeping on there? Just sit. You sit in there? Okay. 
how is things? How are you sort of, you know? I'm living with bed bugs. Mm. So I ain't too happy. Mm. At all. Leaving me in this shit hole. Are they somewhere around? I mean. They're just in my bed. Do you want me to have a look? No. No? Okay. You have not been thinking about sleeping outside of, of, no. of the flat? Again? No. No. We, last time we met, we gave you sort of these new tablets at a bigger dose. Yeah, they're helping. Yeah? A lot more better now. Okay. You seem to be more calm. I mean, I can understand that, that you know, there's a lot of stress with, 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 with what's going on, you know, about leaving, you know, and, and you're sort of being stressed out by the bed bugs. You seem to be more settled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for seeing us tomorrow. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Tomorrow, are you sure you're all right about us being there tonight? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Remember yeah. about the film, don't you? Yes. You know all that? Yes. Cool. I'll give you a call later in the week, yeah? Yes. At the end of the week. Okay. The heightened delusions of a few days ago seem to have gone. What's your level of concern now, Jim? Slightly lower, I'd say. Yeah, I think she's. I'm surprised she's coping as well as she is. Although, when you look at that flat and the condition of her, you think she's not coping at all. But in a comparison with what Tamara has been like before, then I think she's not doing so badly. So we've got to balance our judgment on where she is on that scale. For now, at least, it means Tamara doesn't need to go into hospital. She was chaotic, sometimes disturbed, but in between, she was funny and happy. But you slept from Sunday yeah. through till Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, without realising. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. I went to the shop, I said, excuse me, what's the day today? He said, date. He said, the date to me. I said, no, the day. Tuesday he goes. Sunday. <laughs> Jim? Spending time with her. Oh, look at this it was difficult to imagine <laughs> that she was someone we'd have once locked away. Mm.